Hey guys, it's Claire and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> it's just so funny because I kind of sound like a YouTuber and I really don't want to sound like that. But anyways, um, so exciting video for today. For um, those of you that don't know, I'm a huge Outlander fan. If you don't know, Sam Hewen uh, came out with his own whiskey and I it's Finally made it to the UK after being in the States. <sighs> so frustrating seeing that the whiskey is in the States and it wasn't in the UK. And then it came out December 10th and I was at work like refreshing my phone and be like, where is this whiskey? <clears throat> the whiskey's name is, oh God, I think I'm going to butcher the name. Sass. Sassanac? Sass... Sassanac. Sassanac whiskey, I think. Yeah. I hope that's what it's called. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I'm gonna taste it because it's been sitting in my house like literally before Christmas Eve. This is when I got it in the mail. <laughs> and I ordered it December 10th because I was like, I wanna try this whiskey. Also, on another note, I really like gin, and I used to never like gin. Maybe because I'm old now? I don't know. But anyways. So the um, lady that plays Claire on Outlander, she actually came out with a gin, and I freaking love gin. And I try to get it, and it's all sold out. So. Hmm. Alright, well let's get started, I guess. So. Ugh. Oh god. They like package this really nicely. Okay. Oh. How do I? Oh my God, how do I open this? <laughs> Help! It's childproof! Hopefully I don't. Oh my God. This is dangerous, don't do this at home. Also, I would just like to put a plug in here to drink responsibly. I am drinking in my own house. Oh no, the box got kind of dangled. That's okay. <laughs> Look at the box, the poor box. <laughs> oh, the bags. I thought I was going to keep the box. Limited batch release. Ooh. So, the Sass... Sassanac? That's not how I see it. I'm probably saying this wrong, and I probably need to go back and, like, watch Outlander and see how they say it. But they say it so fast, and I'm just like, what was that again? Huh? Anyways, the box is kind of damaged. That's okay. It's 46% alcohol. On the website, it was 70 pounds for the UK, or 70 quid, however you say it. Oh, they actually have the definition on the back of the, of the box. It's a noun adjective, Scottish Gaelic origin, 1700s, called outsider or stranger. Which is what Claire is in Outlander. Okay. I don't know. There's all these definitions. So it says, for the nonconformist, the outsider, and anyone who doesn't fit in. <laughs> When you're is it forging your own path, carrying the crowd, or buying the first round, all are welcome here. Aww. Um, ancient peaks, hidden glens, and rising morning mists, fresh water and firm oak run deep in its veins. Each glass is a warm welcome, raised to both friends familiar in different lands. The taste is smooth, but distinctive, unmistakable. A unique spirit, wherever you are. You are never alone. Aww. And then it has a uh, Sam signature on the back. Okay, so. Oh God. <laughs> I can't. Ooh. Okay, so this is the bottle. Ooh, it's nice and pretty. <laughs> um, all right, cool. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Ugh. Oh, nice. It has like a cork thing. Oh, so cool. Okay, so I'm going to pour the, um, 
Oh yeah, that's whiskey, all right. <laughs> It is strong, y'all. <laughs> Anyways, this glass actually came from Edinburgh. It's like bread and butter. Bread and butter. <laughs> no big deal. Um, this is why I'm wearing the Hard Rat Cafe Edinburgh shirt. Yeah, actually a funny story about this. I had no pajamas and I was on a mission to get pajamas because I forgot to pack pajamas when me and my friends went to Edinburgh. <laughs> So yeah, I was on a mission and it was also like nine o'clock at night when I realized or seven or so anyways, it was nighttime and I realized I forgot to pack pajamas like an idiot. Anyways. Alright, so I'm gonna pour the whiskey in here, as you say. Alright. Ooh. Okay. So Oh god, that's so strong. <laughs> I wonder, so... The nose, fresh apricot and orange with a drizzle of caramel and slow build of cinnamon. Okay, cool. Palette, waves of honey and vanilla fudge dotted with raisin, almond, and another helping of cinnamon spices. Sound good so far? <laughs> Finish lasting nutmeg, citrus oils, and toffee. Very cool. Uh -huh. It's not bad. Okay. If you don't drink a lot, you might need a chaser because it's burning. Um, <laughs> it has like a good afterburn. Um, um taste so anyways yeah it's not bad um it's actually really good it's a good for 74 pounds better be freaking good jesus i spent like a lot of money on that Ugh. i was like this stuff does not come with the internet okay anyways so for my outlander fans i've been Kind of reading Clans Lands, if you don't know about it. I got the UK version because I live in the UK. Um, Sam and Graham wrote it. It's a really funny book. Like their banter back and forth with each other. Oh my god. Like the second page, I was laughing hysterically. But now what I'm gonna do is... <laughs> I have two different Cokes, guys. Coca-Colas. So this one is the British one. This one is the American one. Now, with this, soda, American soda and UK soda, vastly different. Vastly, vastly, vastly different. I feel like UK soda tastes flat and American soda is not flat. Yeah. Actually, I think this is... Oh crap, I think they're both, <laughs> they're both UK. <laughs> okay, so I have the UK Coca-Cola, as you see, it's vastly different because as Americans, we put a lot of crap in our stuff and we love it. So this is the American Coca-Cola. So I'm going to be doing the taste test with sass, how do you say it again? Sass, sass, that's enough. sass, 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 sassy, sass, 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 and sass, 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 Okay, anyways, I'll just do a shot because um, I'm in my house and whatever. <laughs> and I have nowhere to go. <laughs> Because everything is still shut down in the UK, pretty much. So, oh, did I do this right? I don't think I did. But, so I'm using a shot glass from Scotland that I got in Edinburgh. Bread and butter. And if you guys have not been to Edinburgh, I would suggest I'm going. Okay, so I got my, <laughs> I got my cup here. <laughs> my friend bought me this cup for Christmas. It says... Today I don't feel like doing anything except Sam Hewen. I do him. 
Don't judge me. Anyways. Alright, so I am... Is this the American one? Yeah, this is the American Coca-Cola with the whiskey. Not bad, not bad. All right, should I just check this on camera? I'm just kidding. Goes very nice with the American Coca-Cola. The whiskey goes really nice with it. If I'm drunk by the end of this video, it's not my fault. It's Sam Hewen's fault. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> just kidding, it's totally my fault. All right, I am done with the first one. I have a little bit of Coke left, but we're just gonna do the UK Coke now. And as you can tell with the difference, not that obviously. So we'll see about the other one. I drank all the way through. So yeah. Here we go. I got it in here. Should I put a little bit more? Okay. Yeah. UK Coke tastes really different. A lot of things taste different in the UK. Like even candy tastes different. I can definitely taste the whiskey more. And I put the same amount, I feel like the U.S. one covers the taste a little bit for the whiskey. And then for the U.K. one, I can really taste it. Like it's more, it's more strong in the, in the cup now. So, I mean, it's not strong. It's just I can taste more of the whiskey, even though I put the same amount in here as I did in the American one. So maybe there is more crap in the American Coke. Actually there is, but. Oh, I need to show you guys the top. It's so cute. I actually like it. And if you guys didn't know, Scotland, um, their mascot or their national animal, or I don't know what it is. Their national whatever is the unicorn. Yep, definitely tastes more of the whiskey in the UK one. Definitely, definitely. Sorry, it's a little bubbly. Mm. Oh yeah, can really taste the whiskey in this one. Like, really, really taste the whiskey. <sighs> okay. <gasps> oh my gosh, I just noticed on the side it has a song for Outlander. Like, sing me a song of the last No. Oh, look, it has the lyrics. That's so cool. <gasps> I love the music to Outlander. I wonder if I mix the two, because I still have some of the American. Okay. Oh, that's, that's, that's odd. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say I don't like it, but I wouldn't say like, this would be my go-to drink. It just tastes different. Mixing the two together. I don't think I should have done that. Mm. Final thoughts, good whiskey. I think, per usual, maybe I'm biased, whatever, but I feel like I like the American Coke better with the whiskey than the UK Coke, just because um, the American one hides it. 
Sorry. So I can't wait for season six of Outlander or series six. Um, can't wait to see what they have in store. Oh my God, I'm so excited and nervous all at the same time because season five was like intense. I was like, girl. Well, I guess I'm done with this video. Thanks for watching guys. Okay, bye. Yeah.